Hi, this is Fitah Mohammed, a Moroccan high school teacher of English. For today's session, let's start from this question. What did you do yesterday? So when we ask this question, what did you do yesterday? So we are asking about activities that you did in the past. Okay? So when we ask what did you do yesterday, this means the question is about certain activities that you did in the past. And to make it visual for you, let's represent them on the following timeline. For example, this is now. And when we say now means that this is the present. We have yesterday which means the past and we have tomorrow which means the future so when we say activities that you did in the past or yesterday for example we can have it this way okay so it can be yesterday or we can say last week, last month, or last year, and so on. Or we can say ago, two weeks ago, two years ago, and so on. Or simply we can say before, or any other indicators, or time markers used to express the past time. So, for the, the right tense to be used to discuss or to talk about this kind of activities that took place in the past, so we use the past simple. Right, so the lesson of today is the past simple. And the uh, for the meaning, I think it's clear now. So the past simple is used to speak about certain activities that took place in the past and finished in the past. And these are certain keywords or time markers used to express this kind of time when we want to speak about these activities. For more details about the verb form when we use it in this kind of activities so let's have the following examples for example when we uh, talk about shopping so I say I for example I in the past is I went shopping I went shopping. Suppose that I want to speak about my visit to my cousin, for example, last week. So I say I visited my cousin or you visited your cousin. Okay? Suppose that I want to speak, for example, about homework. So I say, I, for example, yesterday, I did my homework. But when I have, for example, uh, I can say I did my homework, or she did, it's not my homework, so it becomes her homework. She did her homework. Another example, for example, when we speak about films, so I say, for example, I, for example, for films, we say, I watched a film, or we can say, um, uh, for example, they watched a film. They watched 
a fell. You see another example. For example, we want to speak about the telephone, and I say yesterday I, for example, I called my friend. Or we can say he called his friend. Okay? Right, so these are certain examples about certain activities in the past time. So we say, I went shopping, you visited your cousin, she did her homework, they watched a film, and he called his friend. If we focus on the verb form used in these um, sentences, so we find out that there are some changes. For example, when we speak about the first sentence, so the verb is go. And to write it in the past simple, so it becomes went. Okay? For the second sentence, visited, so the verb is visit, and it becomes visited. We have the verb D, which is the verb do, and in the past form it is did. We have watch, so it becomes watch it. For call, so it becomes call. So, to write the verb in the past tense, so there are two categories of verbs. Why? Because sometimes we find that uh, for some verbs, we change the form of the verb. It's like go. For example, we have go, we have di. So, we change the form. Change the form of the verb but for some other verbs it's like for example we have visit visited watch watch it call called so there is no change for the verb form but we just add plus ed okay the question is why in when we write the verb in the past simple so sometimes we have to change the form of the verb and sometimes we have to put just plus ed simply because we have two categories of verbs. We have verbs that we call them regular verbs. Okay? These regular verbs in the past form, so we put just or we add just ed. But for these verbs, we call them irregular verbs. So these irregular verbs, when we want to write them in the past tense, so we have to change the form. It's like the verb go, so it becomes went. For the irregular verb, we have a limited number of verbs, so we have to check the word list of the irregular verbs, and then you have to memorize them. This is for the verb form in terms of the affirmative. Suppose that we want to rewrite the same sentences and write them in the negative and interrogative. Right, suppose that this is affirmative, then we have the negative. And we'll say the negative form means not. And then we have interrogative. And the interrogative form means we have question. So we start with the first example. I went shopping. So how can I rewrite it in the negative form? So I went shopping, so it becomes I did not go shopping. I did not 
go shopping. So we put did not plus the verb. For you visited your cousin. So we say you, the same thing, did not visit, didn't or did not. Then we have visit your cousin. Text number three. So we have she did her homework. So it becomes she did not she did not do her homework. For the next number four, they watched the film. So we say they did not watch a film for the last sentence he called his friends so we say he did not he did not call his friends so, as a conclusion, so when we want to write the negative form, so we put did not plus the verb in its original form. For the interrogative form, I have I did not go shopping, so we have to invert auxiliary did with the subject and then put the verb. Did I go shopping and by the end I should put question mark number two you didn't visit your cousin so we say the same thing so did you visit your cousin And then question mark. Number three, she didn't do her homework. So the same thing. So say did she do her homework? Next for number four, they didn't watch a film. So we invert auxiliary did with the subject they and then put the verb watch a film the last one he didn't call his friends so we say did he did he call his friends okay and as a conclusion we will want to write the interrogative form so we just invert the subject with the auxiliary did and put the verb and go on and by the end put question mark to put it in a different way and to have a conclusion to the past simple In terms of the verb form, right? So, what did you do yesterday? So, this means we are talking about the past tense, and when we want to speak about these kind of activities in the past, so we use the past simple. So we have to bear in mind that we we want to speak about the past simple concerning the verb form so there is an exception that is verb to be okay and we have the other verbs 
This means all the other verbs except verb to be. So when we speak about verb to be, so we have verb to be in the past was or were. We say was with I, he, she, it. And we say were with we, you, they. If I want to put the negative form of was, so it becomes was not. And if I want to put the negative form of were, so it becomes were not. But when we speak about the other verbs, it's like, for example, we have the verb go, we have the verb buy, we have the verb write, for example, we have the verb play, we have the verb talk, okay? And of course, we have other verbs. So when we have the verb go, in the past, it, it becomes went. When I have the verb by, so the past simple of the verb by is, for example, is bought. When we speak about the verb write, so in the past is wrote. For the verb play, so it becomes played. For the verb talk, so it becomes talked. Right? So the other verbs in the past simple, we have to bear in mind that we have to categorize. We have some verbs, okay? Like go, like buy, like write, so we change the form of the verb in the past simple. And this kind of verbs, we call them irregular verbs. So all the irregular verbs, so we change their form when we write them in the past simple. But we have some other verbs. It is like play, like talk. So we just put plus ed. So these verbs, we call them regular verbs. Okay? And if I want to, to write the negative form, so all these verbs, for the negative form, so we say did not did not plus plus the verb for the negative form so we say did not plus the verb it's like when I have go did not go buy did not buy right did not buy and so on right so this is all about in terms of the meaning of the past simple and also the changes in the verb form when we write uh, the sentence in the past simple. Uh, for, uh, to check your understanding, so now let's move to exercises. Right, so for the exercises, we have two exercises. Exercise number one, put in was or were. We are talking about verb to be in the past. So you have to read the text and you have to fill in the blanks with the right choice, either was or were. For the next exercise, you have to put the verb in the right place. We have three verbs, you have to put them in the right place. And then you have to rewrite this sentence in the negative and then in the interrogative form. So you can stop the video and try to answer by yourself, then you can check your answers because I'm going to answer this exercise. Right, so first we have it a beautiful day. So we have it, we don't say it words, we say it was. The sun hot. So when I say the sun, so the sun it can be replaced by 
it it was hot the sun was hot high temperature or hot and the sky blue so the sky it can be replaced by it so was the sky was blue Hisham and Yusuf on the beach so when I say Hisham and Yusuf so we are talking about two means plural we can replace them by they so they were it's not was Hisham and Yusuf were on the beach they so it is clear so we put were with the children the children in the sea so when I say the children so we have one child two children means plural so they were in the sea in fact the sea so the sea once again is going to be replaced by it so was the sea was very cold but they this is clear they were very happy a few hours later the black clouds so when i say that it can be the was or the were so i have to check what comes next i have black clouds so we have s means pure so that's why we have to use were all over the sky and the sun it was was not hot anymore therefore everybody started to leave the place concerning the second exercise so I have to put the right verb in the right sentence and then you have to rewrite these sentences in the negative and interrogative form I him a gift last week so when I say a gift so we say I I give but I have to put it in the past so I gave him I gave him a gift last week for sentence number two Sara my room last night so what is left is verb to be and to be in the past was or were then we have clean so Sara my room last night so we have to put clean but in the past so we should put cleaned Sara cleaned my room last night what is left is a verb to be so see him so because we have see him means she so she for verb to be is was she was at school yesterday now we have to rewrite them in the negative form I gave him a gift last week so we said that in the negative form so we have to put did not okay plus the verb in the original form I have gave and the original form is give did not give and we continue him a gift last last week okay for our next Sara cleaned my uh, room last night so it is the same so we say Sara then did not then the verb I have cleaned but I have to put it in its in the infinitive or the original form so didn't clean my room last night next Siham was at school yesterday and we said that verb to be is an exception so we don't put uh, did not so we just add not so Siham Siham then I put uh, was then I just add not was not at school 
e esse CD. Ok? Now let's move to the interrogative form. I did not give him a gift last week. And we said for the interrogative form, we have to invert auxiliary did with the subject. So I have did subject I, then the verb give, and then continue. Did I give him a gift last week? And then question mark. Sarah didn't clean my room last night. The same thing. So D plus inverse auxiliary did with the subject Sarah, then the verb clean. And then continue my room last night. For the last one, and uh, which is verb to be, and we said that verb to be in, is an exception. In the negative form, we just add not. For the interrogative form, is the same. We don't have the auxiliary did, so we just invert the verb. So we have was with the subject. Was Sihan at school yesterday? Was Siham at school yesterday? Okay. Right. So that's all. That's it. See you then.